All right, so we've got our um, system all set up. We've tested building our mini Team Win Recovery Project, Omni 5.1. Everything is going great. So now we're ready to start actually building that device tree from scratch. And so one of the things we talked about is it's really, really handy to have something to base all of your work off of, something to guide you. And so uh, we found the Wico uh, L5510 phone, the... Um, I forget the actual name of the phone itself, but it's the L5510 is the model. That particular phone is almost identical to the Blue Life XL, and so we're going to try stealing its tree and using its resources to uh, work with here. So the we downloaded the um, trees for the device Team Win Recovery Project tree, and then the um, CM12, which would be Android 5.1, and then also the CM12 uh, kernel uh, repository. So we've got a lot of good material to work with, and we're going to uh, unzip this uh, Team Win Recovery Project tree, which I did here, and we're going to jump in there, and this is the entire tree right here. Now, it was being used for CyanogenMod, and uh, we're going to be using this on Omni, so we're going to have to make some changes right off the bat but we've now got something kind of to work with and if we go back to our mini twerp and we go to our device tree and we see the moto for the shamu we can see uh, some of the other files that might be useful for setting up team win recovery project now notice this tree has everything for building the entire phone not just for building team win recovery project we're not going to worry about building everything right now perhaps later that will be another video series we can go through and building device tree from scratch as we continue to work on this phone but we're going to focus primarily on what we need to build uh, just our team win recovery project so uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is make our device tree. So we're going to need a new folder under device, and we're going to call that uh, blue, because it's the blue uh, phone is the, the manufacturer. We're going to do a new, uh, new folder in there, and we're going to call that life XL. So life underscore XL. And we open that up, and of course it's completely empty right now, and we're just going to copy everything from this tree into our tree, and we'll start making our changes from here. Now, the first thing we want to do is uh, look at our moto tree, and the reason being, this moto tree is going to show us that to build Omni, we don't need CM dot make we need an omni dot make so we're going to copy this put that in our tree and for building um, omni you would take your omni dependencies we're going to end up changing these but we'll put them in here and we'll also need uh, this android products and put that in here as well so those are some things that we're going to need for building um, for Omni. So now that we have all the files together, it's time to start doing some editing. The first thing we want to do is edit this Omni dependencies. We actually don't need any of these dependencies, so we could just delete this file entirely, or we can just take out uh, this right here and say that we don't have anything. Um, to be honest, in this case, we'll probably just go ahead and delete it. Excuse me, but uh, if uh, if you did know of any dependencies, this would definitely be where you would put them. We might come back to that later if we realize, oh, we actually do have a dependency that we need. Then we can uh, we can utilize that. So what we want to do is uh, we want to open this cm.make, and we're going to rename this Omni Shamu to actually be Omni life underscore XL and we're going to open that up as well so what we want is to take our information from the cm.make and we're going to put it in this omni.make and uh, we can make some 
some changes here. Now this file has a lot of information in it that's probably way more than we really really need. So we're just going to go ahead and um, delete all of this. But before, well, I guess before we delete it, we'll move it down and we'll copy this material in. We'll edit this material and see if there's anything we absolutely need in this other one. So we paste our material from here. And so we want to change the vendor to be blue. We want to change product name to Omni Life XL. Product device is going to be the Life XL assert device. Um, so this will kind of need to play with a little bit, where we'll have to try to figure out what exactly the uh, the name of the device is going to be. But probably it is going to be Life XL or Life XL, something like that. So we can try that to get started. Um, device, we're going to inherit the product. Uh, in this one, it did full. Uh, in our case, uh, we uh, we can look at our folder here, and we don't have a full um, product there, so we don't need this line. But let's see what we do need. See if there's anything else in here that we do want it to point to. No, we don't need it to point to that, so we'll go ahead and just get rid of this line entirely. Inherit product, and this is where we want to take a look at our vendor, Omni Config, and we have common right here. And so we're just going to do common. So vendor omni config common. Vendor omni config common. And so we're making sure that it's pointing to the right place because it was pointing to CyanogenMod. We're going to point to the common folder. We can also see that down here. Uh, vendor omni config GSM. So we could actually do that as well. And notice that it uh, it puts both in here. Right? So we could actually take that as well. Place that here. So we're going to pull that GSM and we're going to pull that common. Now we don't really need the GSM because that's the APNs, the list of available phone uh, networks that, that you can utilize. We won't need that for Team Win Recovery Project, but it will be helpful later when we're building our device tree in full. So we might as well hang on to it while we have it. Um, product GMS Client ID base. Okay, so we have uh, this GMS client ID base. We can look down here and see if there's one mentioned down here. I don't see one. Um, I don't think that we're going to need this at all. I'm just going to comment it out, but uh, we'll hold on to it uh, to make sure that there's not something else that we might need from there. So, let's see. Um, all of this kind of information I think we're going to find in our other files. So we don't really need any of this. So yeah, I think we can actually get rid of all of this material down here. So we'll save that. We're going to go back to our Life1XL and we're going to get rid of this uh, cm.make file because we don't need that anymore. Now we're using this Omni Life Excel make file. So great. So we're getting uh, started here. We've got a lot of uh, things done already as far as just getting it uh, available um, to be built. We need this Omni Life Excel file. And if we look at our Android products, notice that it does this Omni Shamu, and we're going to do this Omni Life XL because that 
will properly target it so it'll try to build for this particular device. So I think that wraps it up for this video, but just that we've now got it set up, so hopefully we'll be able to um, build for this uh, Omni Life XL. And uh, in the next video, we'll take a look at our Android Make and our boot, our board config and a few other things there and see what we can put together to get this thing to hopefully build and boot.